And when I have it in my hand, like at that moment, the creative process begins. I've never been to a production, even though I'm, I have my own brand and stuff. I just heard a lot about Echo Leather, and I just know that I'm gonna be amazed when I'm there and just talk to some people that know what they're doing. I love that. I'm never gonna stop thinking in this way. Through clothing and through upcycling, it's, it's a bigger picture, and like I can kind of tell my story through that. In my own process, in my life, I, I wasn't feeling good, and I was kind of struggling with who am I? And what do I want? Why am I not feeling good right now when I have so much going on? And when I felt unhappy and, and not on the right track, I needed to do something about it. To just be honest with myself, I needed some time to recenter myself and find a balance. And that process has been super important for my journey. The trip to Echo Leather, it just came in, in a good time. I'm back on my feet and I'm ready to take all that in. This thing with Echo is, is a blessing. I've heard so much about Echo Leather and, and the production. And they're really good at what they do. Now I want to meet new people, I want to meet creative people, passionate people. And just for this opportunity, man, it's amazing. Hey, man. How are you? Welcome Good. to the studio. Thank you. So, Thank you. Here in the design studio at Echo, uh, we focus primarily on concept, ideation, and early development of leather. So if you look around you, you'll see a bunch of different examples of some of the processes that we use to create these final leathers, whether it be different foils to create shines or embossing techniques that give 3D patterns to leathers. Uh, we come up with early ideations and ideas, do a lot of testing and prototyping, and then pass those ideas off to the R&D, who help us bring those final tests to life in the form of model leathers. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam. So I'm looking at the, the off-road upcycle sandal, uh, where you guys upcycled leftover leather yes. and make, made it into a new product. And I really like that because I've been into uh, upcycling for, for quite some time now and, mm -hmm. and I love to see other brands going in that direction and, and you know, just experimenting more. Normally when you make a shoe, you have always leftovers like scrap. Yeah. And sometimes it's small pieces, sometimes it's also bigger pieces. But the thing is, it's still leather, and leather is, is quite a valuable material yeah, yeah. because the colors and the leathers look great. It's actually a pity that's, that parts of the skin are not used. Yeah. When you work with materials and clothing and stuff like that, you yeah. always end up with stuff that you can sell or you can use. So, so it's leftover. Leftover. Yes. Yes. So, to see you guys dig into this yeah. uh, as well is, is nice. They have pieces like this, so from every fabric and textile they should also have that like this, yes. Can you hook me up? Can you, can you hook me up? <laughs> with some, <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> with some good leather. Many variations yeah. of color and it's, it's crazy. Like the creative process has changed a lot, uh, producing clothing and then from that to upcycling. Source whatever product we find and then when we receive it we just take a look at it and see okay what can we do with this piece to make it new and to give it a new creative way of, of feel and you know, just look in general. So we create when we get this, this stuff. When you see the end product, you don't think about the process like that. And I think that's the, that's the fun part about this journey.
I ended up getting five different deadlifts with me back home. Um, and my first thought was to make a leather vest using the different leathers in a patchwork design. I'm not as technical as them, so for me, I just design up my feelings. It's like, okay, let's try this. If it feels right, then it's right for me. Do it feels right for you.